Why were the British colonists so concerned for their safety in the first half of the 1700s? Britain is a mighty sea power, true. But France also has a big navy. And France has Europe's largest army. There are 20 to 25 million Frenchmen. Only about 6 million Britons. Then, it took months for a ship to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Months one way with the bad news of an attack on the colonies. Months again for the British Navy to show up to help the colonists. And the Navy could only help those living on the coast. So the French are the problem? Yes. But especially the French in New France. What we now call Canada, what's the problem? What's the gripe between them? Lots. Hundreds of years of history. But there are two big problems at that time. First, France is Roman Catholic and Britain is Protestant. The Protestants in New England ran from Britain to get away from what they saw as religious persecution. Even more than the Church of England, they fear the French Roman Catholics. They suspect these Catholics want to kill them and take the land. Second, France and Britain are battling to see which will have the biggest and richest empire. The French need the money from a big empire. They have spent a great deal of money on a series of wars in Europe. Louis XIV has spent money hand over fist. Wars, palaces, luxury, fine food, fine wine, and gifts to his lady friends. Money is flowing out of the treasury at an alarming rate. His successor, Louis XV is not so good with money either. He wants revenge on other nations in Europe. He especially hates the British. He wants to kick them around big time. His problem is he's not very successful in his wars. They cost fortunes. They bring in no money. He can't pay the debts for his wars with any war gains. Maybe he should just give it a rest. Not likely. He's a proud. No a vain man. He just can't be seen in Europe as a loser. He plugs on in the face of mounting debt and defeat. It sounds like you are saying the French and British fought a bunch of wars. That's exactly what I'm saying. And this rivalry between Britain and France is what shapes North America in the 1700s. The really big war between them is called the Seven Years of War in Europe. In North America, it's called the French and Indian War. Britain wins a war and it changes everything in the original British colonies. How so? The British really beat the French in the Seven Years' War. It is a worldwide war. Everywhere in the world, the British Navy and the British Army whip the French. The French end up losing almost everything in their world empire. It's really humiliating to the French. By beating the French so successfully, by putting the French out of North America, the British government has eliminated all but one security concern of the colonists. The one remaining concern is the Native Americans. Very frequently, the British settlers and the Native Americans go to war. Even when it's not official war, Native Americans raid British settlements. They raid in retaliation for taking their hunting grounds. They take animals to replace the lost game. They kill men and seize women and children. They burn villages and farms to the ground. The colonists would like the British army to deal with the Indian. However, with the French gone, the colonists come to believe they can deal with the Native Americans. That's especially true after a British government proclamation stops settlers from moving further west. They may not cross the Appalachian Mountains. Colonists are once again enraged. They feel their interests have been betrayed in favor of the interests of British merchants back in Great Britain. They now want more than ever to run things in the colonies themselves without interference from the government in London, and that's one of the causes of the American Revolution. It helped create the increasing levels of friction that lead to violence, rebellion, and then a declaration of independence.